leo uh, Mr. Samson Yahiri, a teacher from St. Peter Clever, teaching literature. And today I'll be teaching on the title, a topic titled Narrative Plot Structure that is mostly taught in Form 3s and in Form 4s. Before anything else, we will have to see on the following parts. First, the definition of plot. Secondly, the organization of plot by using free tags triangle. And in most cases, we will not talk of this story of this plot before knowing on which particular subject it is. And in literature, you know, as well, we have been teaching in class that literature is uh, creative writing that is written creatively by using language. And therefore, in this literature, we have elements of literature, and these elements are form and content. And plot is one among the parts that are found in form as an element of literature. And most of us have been reading stories, have been watching movies in one way or the other, trying to follow events or series of connected events created by characters in one way or the other without really following up on the meaning of plot. And this lesson do not have to worry because everything that you have been reading, everything that you have watched will have to be narrated well and illustrated well in this particular lesson. And to begin, in the definition of plot, in any narrative of creative writing, creative writing, plot is what we call the series of events. A series of events. A series of events that makes up a story, whether it is told, written, or sung. When we're talking of sequence, the sequence of events, we talk of the arrangement of events that try to make up a story that enable a person to read it and enjoy what is written in that particular story. It is the storyline that includes the most significant events of the story and how the characters and their problems change over time. When talking about the storyline, we are talking of how the point where the story is written on. We are talking of how most significant events of the story relates with how the characters and their problems change over time. And this particular lesson, we will have to see the organization of plot by using what we call Freitag's triangle. Freitag's triangle. And this will be illustrated by a diagram that we have to follow soon in this particular lesson. Okay, turn there. As I introduced earlier, an organization of plot according to Freitag's triangle have got about six elements or parts. And these parts are namely are, are known as exposition, main conflict, rising action, climax, falling action, resolution, or denoment. And this diagrammatically can be presented as follows. We call it Freitag's triangle because it gives out a picture of a triangle when you read a story. Because the story in the story has got the following parts which as a reader needs to be introduced to so that the story can be followed or the arrangement of events can be arranged in such a particular sequence. That at the beginning we have what you call exposition when we start reading a book or when you start watching a movie, we have what you call exposition. That will be also illustrated or explained later on. We have what you call main conflict. We have main conflict. We have rising action. Rising action. And at the top of the story, we have what you call the climax. We have what you call the climax. And after the climax, we have another part which is called the falling action and lastly we have what we call resolution or denominate and all these six parts are what we call the elements of 
the plot structure. And all these are what makes up a story. Without this, in any creative writing, a story cannot be a story without these particular parts. Therefore, these parts will be explained one after another in the current of parts. The first part is what we call exposition. And the exposition is the part of the story that contains the background. This is the part of the story that contains the background the background knowledge that you need. As a reader. Exposition, as we have just introduced earlier, is the part of the story that contains the background knowledge that as a reader, you need to know. This particular part as a story has the beginning of the story and the characters, the setting and so forth are introduced from this particular part. It is the part through which the characters, the characters are introduced. The characters are introduced in the story, not only the characters, but also through this particular exposition, not only the characters are introduced, but also the setting. The setting, where is this particular story told? The setting and, and the time. All these particular parts, the characters, the setting, and time are introduced in this particular part of the story. You need as a story, as a reader, to know who, who are the characters. This part introduces to the readers who are the characters. Where is it taking place? Where is it taking place? Who are the characters? Where is it taking place? Not only that, but what is going on? What? What is going on? What is going on? What is the situation? What is the situation? What is the situation? And so forth. So as part of this, as a story, as a reader, a reader also needs to know. In any case, a reader needs to know, in any case, who are the characters involved in that particular story? Where is it taking place? Where is this particular story taking place? What is going on and what is the situation in that particular story? And in relation to the book, a play known as Dilemma of the Ghost, in relation to the play known as Dilemma, Dilemma of a ghost written by Ama Atsa Aido. As most of the students in Form 3s and Form 4s can be able to know about all this particular story because most of you have been reading this particular novel play. 
we will have to illustrate this particular part of the story in relation to this particular play that we have read in class. As, for example, who are the characters in this particular story that we have read in, the, in the class, we are introduced some of the, story, the characters. For example, the first and the second women, after the prelude of the story, are talking about childbearing situation in Africa. As this book has been set from Ghana, and therefore, from this part of the exposition, we are introduced to a particular character, the first and the second women, who are just having a conversation on the context of childbearing. As whereby one of the women is barren and the other one has got taken care of the children. Where is the story taking place? And we are also told that the story is taking place at the family or the clan of the Fante, where, whereby the family of Ato as the main character have been seated together in discussing about marriage issues of Ato, who is their son, who has just arrived from America. What is going on, as I have said, they are having a conversation, as this is the part of the story, they are having a conversation on how it is also now good for their son to get married. What is the situation? The situation is seen as Ato has come home from America with a particular fiancé known as Yulali, who has come with to introduce to his family as the wedded wife to him. All this particular part of this particular place.